What is absolutism? Broadly construed, absolutism is the philosophical position that there are absolute ethical, aesthetic, or epistemological values. Here, phenomena are believed to have a fixed reality. Thus, what is regarded as true in one circumstance will be regarded as true in all others as well. Put differently, absolutism refers to the idea that reality, truth, or morality is absolute, that is, the same for everybody, everywhere, and everywhere, regardless of individual culture or cognition, or different situations or contexts. Hence, if one believes that truths are always true, or that there is an objective reality, one is considered to be an absolutist. Some people think that absolutism implies a belief that all truths are absolute. However, this claim cannot hold water because, obviously, there are statements such as it is 10 o'clock in the morning that are only true at certain times and places. Hence, it seems more reasonable to assume that absolutism only claims that absolute truths exist and not all truths are absolute. In political parlance, absolutism refers to a political theory and form of government in which unlimited, complete power is held by a centralized sovereign individual with no checks or balances from any other part of the nation or government. In effect, the ruling individual has absolute power with no legal, electoral, or other challenges to that power. In practice, historians argue whether Europe saw any true absolutist governments, but the term has been applied, rightly or wrongly, to various leaders, from the dictatorship of Adolf Hitler to monarchs, including Louis XIV of France and Julius Caesar. In the field of ethics, we may talk about ethical absolutism or moral absolutism. Ethical absolutism, or moral absolutism, the concept that ethical rules are the same everywhere. In other words, moral absolutism is the ethical belief that there are absolute standards against which moral questions can be judged, and that certain actions are right or wrong, regardless of the context of the act. Thus, actions are inherently moral or immoral, regardless of the beliefs and goals of the individual, society or culture that engages in the actions. It holds that morals are inherent in the laws of the universe, the nature of humanity, the will of God, or some other fundamental source. The opposite of moral relativism is ethical relativism, the position that moral propositions do not reflect objective or university moral truths, but instead make claims relative to social, cultural, historical, and personal circumstances. It is related to, but not the same as, moral realism, the position that certain acts are objectively right or wrong, independent of human opinion, and to moral universalism, the position that there is a universal ethic which applies to all people, regardless of culture, race, sex, religion, nationality, sexuality, or other distinguishing feature.